All right, so this is me. It's the first time I'm appearing in front of a camera in quite a while in on YouTube. So I might be a little bit nervous. I'm not going to be in front of the camera the whole video, but uh, today I'm just going to be talking about uh, Wu Chang Fallen Feathers, right? A few days ago, Daniel Owen actually put up this video where he tested the launch patch versus, versus patch 1.3. And he found some very interesting results here where even if the resolution is set to 100% render resolution scale on both with the launch and the patch 1.3, the performance is actually quite a little bit different. Now he found out that it's actually due to the resolution scaling, whereas a launch patch, if you set the resolution scale to 100%, it actually sets it to 100% in game, the internal render, uh, render resolution. But in patch 1.3, he tested the 5060 Ti 8 gig, right? and it actually applies the LSS quality, even at 1080p. Well, this is 1440p, right? So I tested the 5070 Ti and the 9070 XT after I saw this video, and I saw no difference, right, uh, at 1440p. And that's where I left it. Until today, I actually wanted to compare the performance between patch 1.4 and the launch version, just to see if there has been any performance improvements and then I found a few interesting results myself. So if you have a look here at the patch notes it actually says that super sampling resolution limits have been adjusted on select GPU models to prevent unintended performance degradation. Now as I said earlier I tested the 9070 XT and the 5070 Ti and I couldn't see any differences so I figured all right it only applies to 8 gigabyte GPUs and 12 gigabyte GPUs because we have a uh, I actually made a post about it on Twitter. The reason why I thought it only applied to those GPUs is because Benchmarking actually tested it on the 4070 Super and he found the same, right? So here we have DLSS quality getting him 84 frames per second and DLAA getting him 84 frames per second. And here you can see the internal render resolution with the on-screen display DLSS indicator. In both cases, it is actually 965p, which is pretty much DLSS quality for both DLSS quality and DLAA. All right, so that's basically the issue I ran into when I retested. I thought the 16 gigabyte GPUs were exempt from this issue, but apparently not. All right, so let's get right to the benchmarks. All right, so this video actually started out with me trying to compare the launch version of Wu Chang Fallen Feathers with patch 1.4. I'm using the Game Pass version and I got patch 1.4 two days ago or something, right? That quickly turned into something completely different. Let me let me explain here quickly. I'm going to show you one or two things. I'm doing a, another live recording here. I did not plan on it. In the midst of recording, I just found a, quite a few peculiar issues here and I just want to quickly share that with you. I was busy testing the 9070 XT. Then I saw there's no difference between DLSS or FSR quality and FSR native. I cannot test FSR native anymore at 4K with the 9070 XT. Now, I've got the 5070Ti in at the moment. We've got the resolution uh, resolution set to 1080p on the extreme preset. And then if we have a look here, it's DLSS 100% render resolution scale. Even with these settings, the game is telling me that it's uh, <laughs> the settings exceed my recommended values. Anyway, doesn't matter. Let's go back into the game here quickly. The reason why I'm using DLSS and not TSR is because if you have a look at the bottom left, uh, is okay there we go if you have a look at the bottom left hand corner there we've got the dialysis overlay and yet it shows you that we are using the render preset k which is the dialysis for transformer model and then i'm going to zoom in all right but <laughs> even at 1080p the internal resolution is set to 720p right 1287 by 720 upscaled to 1920 by 1080p like that is uh, <laughs> I, I, that is so misleading. That is so dishonest. Now, if we if we just go into our settings here, we were getting sorry. I actually want to do C. We're getting 112, 113 frames per second here, right? But let's just go down to 66, 67 percent. Like 67 uh, percent would be dialysis quality, the the lowest for percentage uh, scale for dialysis quality, right? And we're getting 112 frames per second, 720p internal resolution in the bottom left-hand corner. Now, the same is true for any other resolution here. So let me let me just quickly change this to 1440p. And let me, let me just show you this. Okay, we're going to set this to 100%. Okay. 
go back into the game, open up our frame rate counter and the DLSS overlay in the bottom left hand corner. It is showing us 965p upscale to 1440p. So let me show you 4K, 100% render resolution scale DLSS. As I said, the only reason why I'm selecting DLSS is because of the DLSS overlay 14, uh, 4K. And then if we go into the game yeah all right don't don't mind the performance it's terrible 50 frames per second but you can see then the bottom left hand corner 1440p give or take right one four four eight that's correct for dialysis quality now <laughs> the funny thing is the 9070 xt drops to performance upscaling at 4k so it's not even that the game stays consistent based on vram that the gpu has it just decides you've got this gpu you are having you're going to have to run at 50 percent render resolution scale so i want to see uh, if we obviously if we drop this down to balance just want to quickly see if we do get a, an increase in frame rate we go to almost 60 and then you can see it's 1253p which is which is correct um upscale to 4k or 2160p so that scanning is correct right so i'm going to pop in the 9070 xt again uh, as i said I, I was testing performance differences between the patches and i started with the 9070 xt and at 1440p i did not notice this issue only at 4k and that's when i started swapping gpus around again and just to see <laughs> what exactly is happening all right i'll be right back with the 97 xt all right i'm back with the 9070 xt and uh all right so with fsr as I explained earlier with DLSS, the resolution scale percentage does not work 100% according to the percentage, right? With FSR, it actually does. It does not show you a quality preset or whatever in the bottom left-hand corner here, but, or in the, in the bottom here. What it does do though, is that um, it does actually apply the percentage scale. So if if you say 70%, it's actually 70%, right? Theoretically, I I try to get OptiScaler working for this game so that I could enable an overlay to show the internal resolution. It's a skill issue. I know I couldn't get it to work. It's, this is the Xbox Game Pass version. But I found a way to figure out where exactly does the resolution scale trigger, right? So here we are at 1080p extreme preset, 103 frames per second. So if we... I'm going to leave the the overlay enabled here so we can have a look at our frame time graph because this is actually how you can see when the resolution scale applies if you see a blip in the frame time graph that's when it actually changes so if we go all the way down to i think it starts changing at around 77 right 79 so there there we get a, a, a blip in the frame time graph because then it's applying a setting and you can see our frame rate starts to increase from here where's my mouse now so if, if we click here, you'll see that every time we click something the and there's a change, there's a blip in the frame time graph. See, that goes all the way up to around 77. And then if I keep on clicking, nothing happens from here on out, right? So this is how we can determine exactly where the resolution scale applies at 79. So, all right. <laughs> so it seems like for, for 1080p, we are sitting with 80% render resolution scale on the 9070XT, whereas it was 66%, 67% on the 9070, uh, on the 5070Ti. Just look at 80, so if we click, nothing changes, 79 changes, and I mean, the frame rate does not really increase a lot, but you can see there it increases by 1%. Anyway, all right, so, for 1080p, it seems like 80% render resolution scale gets applied. Now, if we if we move this to 1440p, right, and we go back into the game here, yeah, 73 frames per second uh, at 80%. Let's just see if that reduces so still 73 frames per second so i want to see where exactly this applies as well seems like 80 percent as well all right so that's why at 66 percent 67 percent fsr quality we do see an increase right so we're not we're not actually at quality 
upscaling here but we are at less than 100 percent if you if you have managed to get optoscaler working in this game comment down below what your findings are um rj the game i know you you have a lot of optoscaler videos so maybe maybe let me know in the comments below if you if you see this video now the this is at 1440p at 4k it's a completely different story <laughs> let me show you quickly if we go to 4k yeah right so we are getting 40 ish frames per second here and this is at 66 percent you know what the funny thing is all right so we're getting 40 frames per second at 100 percent render resolution skill apparently and then at uh, 50 we're getting 68 now this this changes right if we use tsr okay let's just give it a second actually now it's to 66 previously when i tested it it reverted to 50 percent right so if i basically adjust this and if i set it to 86 percent and i change the scaling to fsr it's it sets it to 66 percent previously when i was just recording earlier <laughs> It set it to 50%. I'll, I'll I'll include that video as well. So once again, if we just change it here, we apply, we go to FSR at, at 66%. All right. So at 4K here with the 9070 XT, that's basically almost. I mean, I wish I could actually see the the render resolution scale, but I do think. Oh come on, I I do think it does apply per. Rip a uh, per percent, so 66. We do see a, a blip in the frame time graph. We go up to 50, right? And then if we go all the way down to 50, which is performance upscaling, we're seeing 67 uh, 67 frames per second. This is what I saw earlier. I, I was getting 60 ish frames per second because it applied 50 percent render resolution scale. Uh, the best thing here is to just I don't know get adjust the slider until you get to your desired frame rate like that's that's it there's nothing else you can really do here there's i mean you, you can't rely on on the presets you can't rely on 100 percent render resolution scale anything like that it is it is kind of crazy what the the devs did here my personal opinion is that it is definitely misleading so if they wanted to limit the render resolution scale here on certain GPUs, they should have just not allowed you to change above a certain render resolution scale. People would still be angry, right? Because that means that you can't use native for testing. I know I'd be angry because I, <laughs> I can't use anything for testing, but I can't test native here anyway, right? Um, so it, it's kind of pointless but the game lets me think that i'm testing at native where it's not the case all right i think um that's going to be it for this video my my advice here is i don't support this really um i, I know there's there's a lot of people that like this game i also like this game I, i'm not a fan of souls likes yet i do find myself playing this game but dishonesty and misleading <laughs> this uh, this issue with the amd gp is still present right um anyway there we go um it's uh it's really I, I don't think we should be should be supporting this kind of stuff right there's there's other ways to to do this or maybe just don't do it <laughs> um they sure games nowadays do have uh, forced DLSS to get or forced upscaling to get decent performance and some even have a uh, forced uh, frame generation when I say forced I mean you you're basically forced to use it to get decent performance but it's not forced on you for example it's, it's still it's still a choice that you can make right if you want to play 30 frames per second at 4k native you can not in this game though not in this game and that's what i find very very scummy i'm gonna i'm gonna use the word i think it's very scummy all right that's going to be the end of this video hope you guys enjoyed it if you did hit that like button hit that subscribe button and as always we hope to see you in the next one